Hi and welcome to the Samsung videos. In this video I wanted to cover the Samsung email app. This is the main email program that comes on your phone. I know you also have a Gmail app, but that's only really designed to work with Gmail. The Samsung email app you can use for any or multiple email addresses, even if you have Gmail. So you might like to choose instead of having your Gmail on the Gmail app and your other emails on your Samsung, you might like to consolidate them and have your Gmail and your other emails all in the one Samsung email app, which you can't do with the Gmail app. Personally, I prefer the Samsung email app over the Gmail app for a number of reasons, but it does require a little bit more effort to get working. So when you first open this program, you're going to see that you need to set up your email account. And unlike some of the apps like Gmail or Yahoo, if you connect accounts to your phone, it will not automatically configure this email program. You need to manually configure it. And it can be quite easy. All you need to do is enter in your email address and then your password and then press next. Now this is going to work for the well-known email domains. So something like Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook or Yahoo. You can just do this. However, if you've got something that's a bit more different or a custom email domain, then you may need to go through the manual setup and that's a little bit more complicated and something that I'll show you in another video. So in this case, we're just going to press next and it will go away and do what it needs to do in the background and automatically configure itself because it knows about the Gmail email service. It's just all designed to make your life a little bit easier. And then when we're here, we can select period of time we would like to have email sync. So what this means is it will give you a copy of what's up on your internet mailbox locally, but it will only give you two weeks worth. Now, if that's not enough, you might choose one month's worth. So if you've got two years worth of emails in your Gmail account, you're only going to be able to see one month's worth on your phone. It doesn't mean that they're deleted. It just means that this is the copy that it will give you on your phone. And that is the specific time frame of the copy that it will give you. Then you've got your sync schedule. So it will check every 15 minutes or you can upgrade that to every five minutes. You've got a peak schedule and then you've got some other settings here as well. So just select next. You can give this email account a name. So you might want to call it something a little bit more specific like so. And there you have it, we're ready to go. Once you've configured the Samsung email app and all of your messages have downloaded, this is the interface that you're going to see. So we'll go over this interface and get you familiar with it before we go on to any of the more complicated things. So just looking at this interface, you can see that we've got today, last seven days, last 30 days along these bars here. It helps break up your email dates. And then when we're scrolling, you can see that little slider on the right hand side of the screen. We can actually grab that and scroll quickly to various dates. Down the bottom, we have a little toolbar. So if we start from the left, that one allows us to compose or to create a new email. And I'll go into that a little bit later. We've got refresh, so it will allow us to just refresh all of our emails. Then we've got the search here. If we press that, we can type in something that we're looking for. So we could be looking for a particular person or a particular subject. We can type that in and it will search our mailbox for that particular term. Be aware though, it does only search the emails that are on your phone. So if you want to continue searching your entire mailbox, you'll see down the bottom there, there will be an option to continue that search on the server. So if we type something in, you can see here, I can yeah, press this to continue searching on the server. Down the bottom right, we've got the folder icon. And if we press that, it will take us into the folder view of our particular mailbox. So you can see here under Gmail, I've got my normal folders and then I can scroll down and I've got those additional folders. I've also got the other two email accounts that I've got connected, but we'll just ignore them at this point in time. And if I click the little plus here, I can expand and view additional folders under my Gmail account. The advantage of using this app for your emails as opposed to the Gmail app is even though I'm configured to use my Gmail email with this app, I can create new folders from here. And it calls them folders, it doesn't call them labels, so it's not as confusing. One thing to note is if you are creating a new folder, you'll see this little label here called root. What that means, and it's a universal tech term, is the very top folder, typically. So if you're referring to the inbox and you've got 10 folders deep in the inbox, you could say the root inbox folder, which would mean inbox. Now root in this particular case means the very top folder of your entire Gmail system. So if you were to create a new folder here, it would put it next to 
any of these folders that I've already created. If I wanted to create a folder within one of these folders, I would need to go in there and then create another folder, press OK, and then you can see temp is under old email. So that's how you would organize your mailbox if you needed to. If you want to delete that particular folder, you would just long press and then you've got add a subfolder which would create a folder underneath it. Again, rename or delete. In this case, I'll just delete it to keep it tidy and it's as easy as that. So that's some additional functionality you get with the Samsung Mail app that you don't get with the Gmail app, even though both connect to the same system and the Gmail app was actually developed by Google. So in that respect, the Samsung email app is definitely better. Now, if we go back out of here, then we've got our menu in the top right. If we press that, we can select multiple emails. So if we press select, we can select several emails and then we've got some functions that we can do down the bottom. So here, for example, we can mark them as read or mark them as unread. The star is to star them or make them a favorite or important. Then we've got this here, which marks them as spam. So you could block that particular sender, for example, or block the domain. So if you keep getting unsolicited emails from Pinterest or whatever, you can block anything from Pinterest or you can block anything from a specific user. This icon here allows us to move emails to a particular folder. So you might like to move them from your inbox into a special storage folder like notes, for example, and you can do that. And then we've got the trash can, which is obviously just delete. From here, we've got filter by, and if we press that, it will just allow us to sort our emails by any of these particular categories. So you do need to be mindful if you are missing emails, you may have a filter enabled. So for example, I might filter by attachments and you can see there's nothing there. So we can see up here, I'm in the attachments filter and I've got no emails, so I would just need to press back and it brings me back to my normal inbox. View mode is interesting because it allows us to view in standard mode or conversation view. So conversation view is the mode that the Gmail app uses and I don't particularly like it. So if we go in and have a look at that, you can see we've got our emails and then uh, beside certain emails, we've got a number which represents how many emails or conversation threads we have with that particular email. So if we were to go in there, you can see that you've got your first email and your second email and you sort of need to click on the top one and then you can click on the bottom one. It's up to you, it's not something that I prefer. I actually just prefer the normal standard view. Font size is pretty obvious, we can just adjust the font. So if you find it easier to read larger text, it's really simple to adjust. Delete and delete all. Again, it's pretty obvious, I don't need to go through them. It will just allow us to delete certain emails or delete all allows us to delete all of them. And then we've got settings. Settings is a little bit more extensive, so I'll leave that for another video because there's a few more things that we need to cover as opposed to the Gmail app. And then just like Gmail, we can go up here and press the inbox and it will take us to our folders view or our accounts view. Now you can see that I've got a combined view, I've got my Gmail, Outlook and Yahoo. So I've configured three different email accounts to this email app, which is really simple to do. And then I can either manage those accounts or I can go back and view particular areas of those accounts so I can show all folders for example and I can go from there and from here if I want I can also create new folders so it really makes navigating and doing things a lot easier if we go into the manage accounts area and go up here into the menu you'll see that I can delete an account but more importantly I can set a default account so because I've got three different accounts configured to my phone I might like to have one particular email account as the account that I always use so whenever I'm sending an email it will automatically appear as though it's coming from the top account or I can change it and say I would like my Gmail account to be my primary email account. So every time I send an email, it will automatically come from my Gmail account and then I can change that easily if I want to. So that's another advantage that you have with this email app as opposed to the Gmail app. That setting is really easy to change. So that concludes the video on the Samsung email app. I've covered connecting your emails, I've covered the interface and just navigating around and getting familiar with the way that the app works and some of the advantages you have using this Samsung email app as opposed to the Gmail app even if you are connecting to your Gmail account. 